White people trying to find a cure for coronavirus when they find out Tom Hanks got the corona. All right, this is it, people. Let's move. Let's go, 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 go. Hi. Okay, yes, we're gonna scoop those nooples. Everyone panic. Everyone fucking panic. We're all gonna die. Corona's gonna take over. Oh my god. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 147. Oh no. Okay, that's all I gotta say is, oh no. We're fucked. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here. To show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. We find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Now listen, I already recorded this episode a couple days ago, three days ago maybe. Okay, and I got I managed to get on Reddit Public Access Access Network. Doesn't matter. The episode was shit. Okay, I didn't. I wasn't prepared. There was nothing to talk about, and so I uh, I scrapped it. We're doing episode 147 again. Okay. And since then, it's literally only been about three days, and the fucking world is in shambles, okay? Everyone knows it. I don't need to explain it to anyone. You know what's going on. Hold on. I got... I got... Had to, had to, I had a runny nose. I don't have, <laughs> oh man. Do I have coronavirus? See, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting uh, serious now, okay? Because before we were just talking about it like, oh, it's a something, it's something that's happening. All right. H1N1, SARS, Corona. It's got a funny name. Everyone is. Like, I live in a small town in Canada, okay? And even here, if you go to the grocery store, the, literally all the toilet paper is gone. All the milk is gone. All your basic necessities are gone from the shelves, okay? And we, we, we work in the small business that, we're, that has us required to fucking scrub all the, all, the, all the doorknobs, wash off the debit machine... There's so much, there's so much stuff going on. Okay, and I've literally got, <laughs> I've got tabs and tabs open of shit that's been canceled, let alone just stuff that we can talk about today. I mean, um, last episode we touched on coronavirus a little bit, but this episode is just going to be completely coronavirus uh, related. Because that's all there is. Nobody's talking about it. There's nothing else going on in this world right now except for coronavirus. Because coronavirus has shut everything down. Nothing is happening because of coronavirus. It's even affected the goddamn stock market. It's insane. I don't even know. I don't know. But a part of me, a part of me gets a little, just a little bit excited. Okay. I kind of like it. It's like when, um, you know, I don't know when, when like there's, when there's tragedy, it's a little exciting, isn't it? Isn't it just a little exciting? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta get something. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I gotta talk about Janice too.
Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. Okay, so Janice has coronavirus, okay? She's quarantined. She's out of here. Yeah, we don't need her anyway, right? All she did was give me fucking nothing. She's supposed to put juice in my cup, and she can't even do that. So I don't have a cup today, because Janice is quarantined. Great. Great. But uh, what I do have is some shishka berry. So I was going to partake in some of this. Because why not, okay? We're in a time of crisis. Um, there was something I needed to mention. Now I don't even know. But it doesn't matter. Because it's, it's corona, okay? We're all... We're all under quarantine. Um... Man, it's hard to fucking focus on something and talk about stuff at this other time, same time. Oh. And I'm looking at Twitter right now. And, like, the past three days, it's been nothing but coronavirus. But still, somehow, today, SmackDown, WWE, is fucking number one trending right now. And then, number... Oh, it's gone. What the hell is Wanho? Wanho is number two. I don't even know what that is. Man, these moisture packs actually make a big difference. How was you say, brother? What did you say, brother? Yeah, we're fine. Before we get into it here, let me just have a little hoot ski poo just like the good old days, right? You want to come up here, Ubo? Look at Ubo. <laughs> it's Ubo. Remember him? Oh, your breath stinks. Okay. You're right in the way. Can you get down? There we go. I like to do this for my own purpose sake. To get all the shake in the bottom, okay. I like to have I like to have a good good selection, good good nice good heaping of keef. I never really use it, but I like to have it, okay. Get the old green bastard. You remember the green bastard, don't you? <sighs> them breathing techniques, do them breathing techniques, brother. Oliver, no. Come here. I just let you outside. I can't let you outside right now. Come here. Come here. Lay down. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Cheers. <coughs> oh god oh that's not bad oh that's not good though oh that's not bad <laughs> wow okay oh fuck god damn it weed's legal in canada people you can buy it at the fucking dispensary. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so cool. Is it legal in Europe? I don't even know. Probably not, right? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Oh, shit. Okay. So why don't we just touch on what's, what's canceled here? So there's this website, and it's called Is It Canceled Yet? Here you can find everything that's going on. Last updated was today at 12.39 p.m. Eastern, or what is that, ET? Extraterrestrial. Uh, yes means in-person gathering canceled. No means it's still on. And uh-oh means not canceled but not looking good. So 2020 in general is uh-oh. You got Disneyland, 
WWDC. Don't know what that is. Democratic Party. Boston Marathon. Microsoft Build. Broadway. March Madness. The Stats. NBA season. NHL season. MLB season. Bull Market. E3. Public Gatherings. Uh, basically all the big music tours. Houston Rodeo. Las Vegas Casino Buffets. Pope Francis Public Appearance. Bernie and Biden. Google I.O. SXSW. South by Southwest. Minecraft Festival, Burning Man. Burning Man's still on. <laughs> we can still go to Burning Man. I don't when is Burning Man? New York Public Library events. Coachella. Harvard University. 2020 Olympics. We're still good. TED conference is delayed. GDC. Google Reader. PAX West. We're still good. Chris Matthews. What? Seattle Comic Con. San Diego Comic Con. That's right, San Diego. Did I touch on that on the last episode? I think I did. Microsoft Ignite. Free samples at Costco. Nab Show. That green coat from Amazon? What? Wait, what is this? That green coat from Amazon? Uh, I don't fucking care, dude. It's going to take me all the way back to the top. No. TwitchCon in Amsterdam. TwitchCon San Diego. Why isn't San Diego canceling their shit? Adobe Summit. Doctors with no borders. No. Donate here. Facebook. F8. Mobile World Congress. Code for America Summit. Handshakes. Hugs. Fist bumps. No. You can still fist bump. Internet Freedom Festival. Disney Plus Launch Event. Octane. Gen Con, you're still good. Still go to Gen Con. Lauren's 92nd birthday party. Who, what? Who's Lauren? IBM Think. The OA on Netflix. What? Dell World. Cisco Live US or Us. That's still good. New York Auto Show. Geneva Intel Motor Show. CubeCon. Rhineforce Conference. The Apocalypse, yes. <sighs> Editor's note. This website tracks some of the events that have been canceled due to coronavirus, <laughs> along with some other things that have been uh, incidentally canceled. It's not meant to be a comprehensive or efficient resource. Indeed, in dark times, dark humor, blah, blah, blah. We get it, okay? So this this site gets updated every day so if you want to just take a look at what is actually canceled you can come here and i mean sure in your own in your own hometown or whatever you're going to see that any sort of gathering with any group of people is just going to be canceled i got some other ones that weren't even on the list we got wiener mobile tweeted this we've made the difficult decision to cancel currently scheduled wiener mobile events for the near future blah 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 okay and uh, this one shouldn't be in here. This should be in my other folder. Oh, whatever, man. Whatever. We'll talk about it in a bit. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, NBA. We already talked about that one. Right. So even the talk shows, Jimmy Fallon, Ellen DeGeneres, and I think all the other ones even, they're not having studio audiences. Watsky canceled his tour. All the comedians are canceling really any other shows if it has a crowd of 250 or more. Billie Eilish canceled. There was actually, <laughs> I don't know if this is real or not, but there's there was a coronavirus conference to discuss the coronavirus. That was even canceled due to coronavirus. Okay? And then... The last one, is <laughs> Fast and Furious 9 released pushed back a, a year due to coronavirus. And this isn't even everything, folks. There's hundreds and hundreds of more shit out there that's canceled. If there's people involved, it's canceled. Okay? Even in my own shit little town... The fucking, uh, you know, local hockey teams are done. It's all canceled. 
And luckily, the place I work at is, uh, I, I don't even know. I can't say, I guess. I, de- I never want to say. It's probably not a good thing to say, but the place I work at is a place people would want to come, uh, you know, when they don't have a place to go, such as work. You know, if someone's quarantined, they're going to want to come to this place just to... I'm not going to say anymore. But here's another big one that, you know, you you definitely heard. Uh, Tom Hanks, he's got the he's got the coronavirus, and so does his wife. They went to Australia to film a movie. His goddamn son, where are you going, Olive? Come here, go lay down. And his son Chet, you know the 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 rapper who likes to pretend he's Jamaican. <laughs> he put out a little uh, video saying, "Yes, it's true." Blah blah blah. But then Tom Hanks put out his own statement. Hello, folks. Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit tired, like we had colds and some body aches. Rita had some chills that came and went. Slight fevers, too. To play things right, as is needed in the world right now, we were tested for the corona and were found to be positive. Well, now, what do we do next? The medical officials have protocols that must be followed. We, Hanks, will be tested, observed, and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. Not much more to it than a one-day-at-a-time approach, no? We'll keep the world posted and updated. Take care of yourselves, Tom Higgity Hanks. (sighs) Yep, let me just get my bearings straight here. I just want to see. So we got, yeah, other stuff to throw in here in a second. (sighs) <sighs> so what's your what's your thoughts? What do you what do you have a thought? I mean, I don't know. Initially, I was like, I don't care, and there's still people There's still people I know in this small shit town that uh have very conservative views and just really don't care about the coronavirus and 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 they're looking at the facts as if it's not something to worry about because of the uh the 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 articles that state that it's you know har- har- not as harmful as other stuff and blah 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 i don't know everyone takes these st- statistics their own way um i hate throwing opinions out there especially on hot topics like this but i at this point, I'm considering, you know, I'm not only considering, but I am just kind of, well, not kind of, I am following protocol. <laughs> I'm following proto. And I am, I got, you know, luckily I already had my own hand sanitizer because good luck trying to fucking buy it out there. And luckily I still have toilet paper because good luck trying to buy it out there. Which I still don't get why people need that much toilet paper. Okay? One pack lasts me like two months or so. Why the fuck do you need all the toilet paper? How much shitting are you doing? Even if you're quarantined. The quarantine time is 14 days. Do you really think you need more than a 24-pack of toilet paper? Even a 12-pack is plenty. Use less sheets. Get a bidet, okay? I'm not the only one that's fucking, you know, a bit upset about this. Man, you guys buying toilet paper and all that shit... And like all the paper towels and all the... You guys are fucking idiots, man. You guys are fucking idiots. Like... You're, you're gonna be cooped up for fucking five days. Or or a month. Or two months. You know? 
and you're worried about shitting? It's so fucking annoying. I went to the grocery store to get some eggs for tomorrow so I could fucking have eggs for tomorrow morning. That's all I wanted. And there's nothing on the shelves because people are worried about shitting for a month. Right? You fucking assholes, dude. Unbelievable. Canned goods, all this shit's gone. I just want to I just want to have breakfast tomorrow. I just How about people who are just shopping for fucking breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> huh? And you're just taking all the shit because you think, because you, because you're afraid of getting a fucking cough for four days. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I want to eat breakfast tomorrow morning. And because you're worried about shitting for two months, <laughs> I can't eat breakfast tomorrow morning. Watch, I'm, I'm going to be one of the ones that dies from it too Because I can't wipe my ass because, It's not even going to be because of the coronavirus I'm going to get the coronavirus, I'm going to be fine But then I'm not going to be able to wipe my ass enough Because all oh, you motherfuckers bought the toilet paper And it's going to have like an infection And then I, I die from a fucking infection Because I can't wipe my ass properly Because you guys had to go buy all the fucking canned goods And toilet paper because you're scared That's why that Thanks a lot, dude Right? I mean, right? Is it worth it? Do we really need to buy all this shit? I can understand buying food, okay? I can understand stockpiling food. I don't understand the toilet paper. I just don't get it. I can understand the other shit. To a degree. But the toilet paper makes no fucking sense. I just had these weird thoughts in my head. Like, what's going to happen in the next fucking... Within the next week? Is every store going to shut down? Because I know schools are shutting down. In Canada, or at least in Ontario, they're stretching March break to to instead of it being one week it's now going to be three weeks which let me tell you something if i was in school still and i found out that we had a fucking three week march break i would be ecstatic that would be the best news i ever fucking got <laughs> okay there's nothing i hated more than going to school and there's nothing i loved more than having days off of school when we had snow days or or even just cancellations because of the power going out or whatever. It was absolutely exciting. <sighs> but uh, I guess some some good news is that there's this Canadian research team that has apparently isolated the COVID-19 virus at uh, Sunnybrook Research Institution. Um... And, uh, you know, because this is a, a shit, a real shitty podcast, I didn't even read the article. That's how shitty of a, of a podcaster I am. But, uh, you know, I haven't heard or seen any other news regarding this. Like, if this was the case... Why, why, why haven't, why, you know, why, why are people still fucking, you know, going absurd? If they isolated the fucking co co coronavirus, where's the vaccine? You know, <laughs> maybe it's just too early because it just happened this morning, I think. No, it was yesterday. I don't know. We might hear some more about it. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know anymore. Who knows? Maybe the fucking... The next couple months, this podcast is just going to be centered around coronavirus because that's all there's going to be to talk about. Maybe we're going to be in such an apocalyptic time <laughs> that that's all our focus is going to be generated towards. What if that's the case? Then what? Huh? Donald Trump tweeted this three hours ago for me. Um, I'm encouraging all citizens to take their guns outside and wait 
and and shoot the virus out of the air. Before I get suspended for impersonation, please check out this merch. Thanks. What is going on? Wait, what? Oh! I'm stupid. I'm so fucking stupid, dude. It's not even Donald Trump. <laughs> How did I not see this? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I... Man, he got me. Okay, you got me. You got me. <sighs> I actually <laughs> thought... <laughs> That was Donald Trump, man. He did a good job. <laughs> he did a good job. He did a good fucking job, man. Let me tell ya. Yeah, I, I, I totally. Th oh fuck! I got Corona. Corona makes a yawn. I totally thought that was Donald Trump. Totally, totally, totally. And so, in other news in the coronavirus, uh, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, his wife got corona, and he put himself in isolation along with his wife. And so, he put this tweet out. I have some personal news to share today. Sophie, his wife... Recently returned from a speaking event in the UK, and last night she was experiencing mild flu-like symptoms. She's feeling better, but following the advice of our doctor, she is self-isolating as we wait on COVID-19 test results. Out of an abundance of caution, I too will be self-isolating and self-monitoring until we get Sophie's results back. But I'll be busy working from home today. I'll be speaking, baba da boop bop, baba da boop bop, okay? But then... You know, he said he's waiting for testing. And then. And then. And then. I did not prepare. Why didn't I prepare? Where is it? Where is it? He tweets too much. Stop tweeting. Damn it, I went... God... Oh, son of a gun. God. He's tweeting so much because he's fucking quarantined and he's at home. He's got nothing else better to do. See, so here's him busy at home working. Okay. Uh, here it is. I have some additional news to share this evening. Unfortun unfortunately, the results of Sophie's COVID-19 test results are positive. Therefore, she will be in quarantine for the time being. Her symptoms remain mild, and she is taking care of herself and following the advice of a, of a doctor. Okay? So... Who else is going to get it? I might even have it right now. Like, I don't even... Who knows, right? <sighs> Man, I keep, like, thinking that I'm going to get it. I might even have it. My throat's a little sore. Does that is that a symptom? Let's see. Symptoms. Symptoms of coronavirus. Uh-oh. Uh, fever, cough, shortness of breath. I touched my mouth. Shouldn't touch my mouth. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, persistent pain or pressure in chest, new confusion or ability to arouse, blush, lips, or face. Do I have that? Mm. The 
following symptoms may appear two to 14 days after exposure. Oh boy. You see, you can fucking wash your hands and not touch your face all you want, but you still you're still breathing in stuff. I might have to start wearing a res respirator. Oh boy, oh boy, oh bungalow. Anyway, uh, do you remember Kenneth Cop Copeland? He's one of those TV evangelist, you know, fucking uh, preacher fellas <laughs> who th who thinks he can uh, heal you through the through the word of God. Uh, you know, he did he did a little something the other day. Put your hand on that television set. He's trying to cure yes. you of Hallelujah. Corona. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He received your healing. Yes. Now. Say it, I take it. I take it. I have it. I have it. It's mine. It's, it's mine. mine. I thank you and praise you. Know, I can't even watch this. I just wanted to make it aware that, um, you know, Corona's prevalent and everyone's trying to do stuff to do stuff. Okay. Oh, man. I actually don't even know if I have hand sanitizer. And I keep thinking I'm going to get it. Now, now that I, the more I just read this shit, the more I'm like, okay, I'm going to get fucking coronavirus. It's probably because of the weed I just smoked. I'm getting paranoid. What? What's weed? Anyway, uh, we all know that Italy is, you know, suffering hard, specifically with corona. Like, literally everything and everyone is quarantined to a, a more degree than, than here in North America. And so there's this video that went viral of, of these people just out on their balconies having a good time. You yeah, see? See? <laughs> is that cool? See, this is why I love this. <laughs> I don't love coronavirus, but I, 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 this is what I said earlier. I kind of like when stuff, you know, when, when panic ensues. Not panic, but when, when disaster strikes. It makes everyone come together. And, well, this, not this way. <laughs> it makes everyone come together in a sense of, like, we all just have one common goal, and that is to survive. So, like, okay, with coronavirus, we're not coming together. We, that's the last thing we want to do. That's actually what we're preventing is coming together. We want everyone to stay away and be segregated. But even with that... You know, we got all these people in their balcony just fucking having a good time. Someone brought out an instrument and then, you know, everyone else brought out their instrument. And it's look how f cool that is. That would never happen any other day. Like any other day, some if some guy tried to just bring out an instrument onto his balcony, everyone else would be telling him to like shut up, stop making that racket. But here that's what that's all they have cuz they're stuck in their homes. How cool is that? Right? Gosh. Now, like I said, I'm panicking, not really, but internally, about uh, being more cautious and following protocol. So, you know, you're going to slip up. 
you're not going to, you know, you're going to forget that you, that you can't touch your face. You're going to forget to wash your hands after touching a doorknob, you know. So this guy here has created a nice little system that I think could work for everyone. This is the pandemic prevention bell. Stop spreading germs today. The included spandex wristbands will ensure your hands will never be able to reach your face. Keep those disgusting hands as far away as possible. No, face, touching. The right side holster features a distance for hand shaker. Avoid all skin to skin contact immediately and only shake hands from a comfortable distance away. Sorry to all my best bras. Next located on your left side buttocks is a secondary fake arm and sleeve. Never sneeze into your hands and only into your elbow to minimize any possible nasal spray outward. Lastly and most important are dual hand washing station. I'm not sure why I have to remind you to wash your hands, but just do it. Right on. Get one. Where can we get one? Yep. Don't know. But I like. <clears throat> Oh no. What's going on, people? Do you think next episode is going <laughs> to going to be completely revolved around coronavirus? It might. It just very well might. I mean, it gives me something to talk about, but shit. Like I, I often like to relate this to the Great Depression. Uh, even in the name, it says it has the word depression. So you immediately think, I keep touching my face. You immediately think, okay, that must have been a depressing time. No one had money. No one had food, right? Which, uh, yeah, that was the case, but if you do look in the history books, it does say that even though everyone was going through such hard times, it was still, uh, there was still a feeling of camaraderie and happiness because it forced everyone to work together to, you know, like I said, create a common goal, and that is to just survive. When disaster strikes, you can, th you can, you can fucking mine happiness out of it. When we're all satisfied and not hungry or not sick, we just run out of things to look forward to. <laughs> so we get grumpy and angry, and we start complaining about the simple little things and we cancel people over dumb shit because we got nothing else better to do so something like coronavirus as nasty as it is there's positives that can be taken from it um so check this guy out Audio listeners. Oh, audio listeners. There's audio listeners. The video you, I just played. Well, I guess you, you you heard the voiceover, but again, you want to see it? You got to watch it on YouTube, okay? But this is a TikTok with a guy who has a pretty neat idea for touching buttons. So why don't we take a look-see? It's a lighter with a metal thing on it and as soon as he touches it with the button he just burns the surface fancy oh my god what a good idea we won't get corona if you do that what is this oh yeah oh yeah 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 uh, yeah yes brother 
Okay. <sighs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I don't know, dude. Makes me wonder. Because, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, you know, we all knew coronavirus existed, but it wasn't... It wasn't that big of a deal. And then it just, you know, kind of just the news stayed around for a bit. <laughs> And then literally, like, just two days ago, it went from okay to complete chaos. And everyone absolutely, I mean, everything just instantly changed. Like, there could literally be... You know... Like, anything could be happening in the world right now, but we wouldn't even know. Because the only thing people are focused on is coronavirus. Literally, my entire Facebook or or Twitter feed... I don't use Facebook. My entire Twitter feed, every single tweet has something to do with coronavirus. I don't have cable or anything, so I don't watch the traditional news. But it's, uh, this is a moment. We're living in a moment of, that's going to go down in history. We're going to be able to tell our grandchildren, that's if we survive. (laughs) We're going to be able to tell them, uh, you know, we live during the coronavirus and yeah, it was uh it was quite the time. And this we're still we're just in the beginning of this pandemic. And that's another thing. It's a pandemic now. What if it turns into an epidemic? Is that worse than a pandemic? What if it turns into a complete global <laughs> shutdown? What if it gets to a point where ev- the the world's going to say, "Okay, Literally, everyone, do not go outside under no circumstance unless absolutely necessary, go outside. What if that happens? What's going to happen? What would happen if that's what we have to do? The entire world would crumble Is that going to happen? It can't. We need people to f- maintain society. Our houses are run off electricity, which needs to, you know, come from a power source that needs to be maintained. Food needs to come from somewhere. And they're going to stop the trucking companies from making deliveries. I'm going to run out of food. Man. Maybe I should have stocked up. I have nothing. I literally have nothing here to eat. See now I'm now I'm just worrying myself. I don't think it's not it can't come to that, can it? But it, uh, maybe I don't know. I mean, I didn't even think it would go this far. Huh. What am I going to do? I guess I have rice. I got lots of rice. I could just eat rice, I guess. I mean, I'd have to. Where am I going to get money from? It's not going to come to this. There's no way. This is just me in my mind right now. But you never know. 
like I said, I didn't even know it was going to get this far. No one, no one, no one thought that. So. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Well. Damn it. It would be good. It would be good to have chickens, I guess, right? Could eat the eggs. Um. Yeah. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Kids Mo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, uh, touch, uh, touch that bell notification, but use hand sanitizer afterwards. And uh, hope to see you in the next one. If we're still alive. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.